Where does sustainability sit on your priority list? It is a priority for our members and it's a priority for the AAA. I have the pleasure of leading a government and trade delegation to the US in May this year. And what became really apparent was the amount of time, effort, investment the tech companies are making around sustainability and carbon zero goals. And in fact, recently in, in Canberra, we held a major event around tech and sustainability that the AAA ran. It just demonstrates that the industry is leading the economy around carbon, towards carbon zero goals. So we're doing a lot. Um, perhaps people don't know about it. We need to do more to get that, that voice out. Do digital technologies really have that much to offer to make our businesses and our nation's economy more sustainable? Well, the first thing, there's an old adage, if you, if you can't measure it, then you can't report on it and, and you can't do anything about it. So the first thing is that the digital tools actually measure what companies are doing and then can report on it. So that's the first thing, that transparency. Digital tools provide that, but digital and, and innovation actually so can actually drive the, the carbon goals of, of economies, including Australia. What we're seeing is the evolution of companies um, embracing the cloud. These cloud companies, whether they be data centers, which are heavy users of energy and water, right through to software as a service companies, they're all embracing those carbon zero goals. Where do you see the biggest possible contribution to sustainability from digital technologies? Look, there's, I think it's a combination. I don't think there's one silver bullet that you could say this is going to drive uh, goals to net zero 2050. I think it's across the board. Um, energy is obviously a major area where technology is coming to support the grid, support renewable expansion, support the load management. So technology is playing a huge role right there at the moment. But then as every company and every organisation needs to use cloud-based infrastructure, that side of the digital economy needs to invest and ensure that it's efficient and they're doing that. Thank you, Simon Bush.